So in this question, we have Griffin, and it gives us some information for the current year, but guess what? Ultimately, we need to calculate cost of goods sold for the year. So when we look through the information we're given, we're given some information about purchases, freight in, freight out, as well as beginning inventory and ending inventory. Well, as we recall from the lecture, we can use the base formula, which is also called the inventory roll forward to calculate cost of goods sold. So there in the visual on the right is the base formula for cost of goods sold. So let's go ahead and execute this. All right, so if we start with beginning inventory, which the question tells us is 30,840, and then we'll add purchases. Now purchases total $102,800, but there's also purchase discounts of 10,280, right? So our net purchases, well, we would have to subtract the purchase discounts. So that's the negative 10,280 there. And then freight in, that would also be part of an inventoryable cost, right? We have to get the inventory from our vendor to our warehouse, and that's an inventoryable cost. So we're gonna add in freight in of 15,420, and that gets us to cost of goods available for sale of $138,780. Now, all we need to do is subtract ending inventory, which the question tells us is 20,560, and that gives us cost of goods sold that would be recorded for the income statement of $118,220, right? So that's how we can use the base method, also referred to as the inventory roll forward method to calculate cost of goods sold. And we really could use this to calculate anything in the question depending on what information is provided, right? So make sure you understand how all of these pieces fit together. Super important and will save your ass on the exam.